After visiting Changdeokgung Palace, the left gate is to Secret Garden and right gate is to Changgyeonggung Palace. Changgyeonggung Palace built in 15th century. King Songjong made this new palace for his grandma, mom and aunt right next to his palace. So this is not the main palace and the size of palace is compact and simple. But still I have a lot of interesting story to tell you. From here, you can look down the building of Changgyeonggung Palace. This is Pungide. There is a flag and it's used to measure the direction of the wind. This is Songjong Teshilbi, placenta chamber. Inside the stone case, there is a placenta and umbilical cord of the King Songjong. Yeah. In old time, when king's baby born, they used to bury this at a good location all over the Korea. But the Japanese colonial era, they brought this placenta chamber of King Songjong to here, so everyone visit this palace can see this as one of the attraction. Because in 1911, right after Japan take over the Joseon Dynasty, this palace turned into an amusement park by Japanese colonial era to harm the dignity of Joseon Palace. So more than 70 years until 1980s, this palace used to be the zoo and the garden that full of cherry blossoms. This is Chundangji Lake, where used to be the king's rice paddy. So king did farm work here and inspired the people. But when it was amusement park, rice paddy also turned into artificial lake. If you see the old pictures, there was cable car and people were skating and taking boats at here. If you keep walking, you will see the grand greenhouse. It's designed by Japanese and constructed by French company. This greenhouse is still remaining because it recognizes the first built western style greenhouse in Korea. Now we will go to the main gate to explore the buildings of Changgyeonggung Palace. Honghwamun Gate is main gate. And here is the only stream that flows naturally still among five palaces in Seoul. Other palaces are all dry. Main building, Myeongjeongjeon. Since this palace is built for king's grandma and mom and aunt, not as a main palace, so this building is relatively small. It's a single-story building. While Gyeongbokgung and Changdeokgung Palace look like a two-story building from outside. But this is the oldest main building among all the palace. It rebuilt in 1616, so it's remaining more than 400 years. Next to the main building is a king's office, Munjongjeon. And one tragedy happened here at the front yard of King's office. Crown Prince Sado died because of his own father, King Yongjo. Sado was Crown Prince who beloved so much by his father, King Yongjo. But too much expectation from father and slander from the opposite political faction made Crown Prince Sado become crazy man. At the end, his own father, King Yongjo, also got so mad. So, King Yongjo locked him up at the rice chest and crown prince died just like that after 8 days inside the rice chest. This is Sungmundang where King studied and discussed policy matter with the officials. There is a recall that King Yongjo also called the student from Songgyongwan Academy and asked them about the political matter. This is Haminjeon, where royal family used to hold banquet. Just over the wall, 
is the Changdeokgung Palace. 환경전. It was the part of the king's sleeping room. Do you know Daejanggum? Twenty years ago, there was drama of Daejanggum. It was very popular. Anyway, Daejanggum was the first female physician of Joseon Dynasty, and she served King Jungjong. And this is the building where King Jungjong died. So we can imagine that Daejanggum used to serve the king here with acupuncture treatment. 경춘전 is built for King Songjong's mother, so here used to be the sleeping quarters for Queen Dowager. After, also for Queen and Crown Princess. Crown Prince Sado, who died in rice chest, also lived here. 통명전 is sleeping quarters for Queen, and one famous tragedy story happened here. The concubine lady Zhang buried a dead bird and dead mouse around this building in order to curse the queen In Hyun Wang Hu by black magic. Because this lady Zhang and Queen In Hyun Wang Hu was kind of enemy, and at the end, queen died for illness and lady Zhang also executed by poisoning. This story is very famous and also has many dramas. And additionally, there was time that Queen In Hyun Wang Hu got kicked out from the palace and Lady Zhang became a queen. And because Lady Zhang had bad temper, King Suk Jung was so regret for changing the queen. One night, King Suk Jung encountered one palace maid who was praying for well-being of deposed queen In Hyun Wang Hu as it was her birthday. Then King Suk Jung fell in love with this palace maid, Lady Choi and gave a birth with her. And this son is King Yongjo, who killed his son by locking up in the rice chest. And the building on the right side is Yang Huadang. It was reception room for the queen. Even though this palace itself started with the love and devotion for parents and own family, Changgyeonggung is sounds like full of sad story. The story of amusement park at Japanese colonial era and the tragedy of crown prince and also tragedy of two women. But this is really peaceful palace and nice place to walk. So who needs some inspiration of history? Please visit here. And thank you for watching my video.